And you still wouldn't be winning with that kind of uh, lack of run support. Chu runs and the ball is fouled off. And now he's saying it was hip. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The home plate umpire, Toby Basner, saying it hit him, but he swung. Yeah. And you can't challenge it. I don't think you can challenge this. So they're going to have, you know, Jeff Nelson, the, the voice of reason, comes in from second, and they're going to call the other umpires. So you tell you, it's a high curveball. I mean, way out of the zone, and he hit it. Yeah, it's a foul ball. It didn't even come close to hitting Now, but in doing that, he did Joseph interfere, because if he did, so that's the point. He's So if he swung, did he hit the glove? I don't think he hit the glove. But the ball, he definitely hit the ball. So the question will be not that he fouled it, and that's important, obviously, but also did the bat hit the glove, and I didn't see that. It was almost like it was a hit and run, and it was a last-minute thing by Andrus to, uh, to try to put the ball in play. So there's the glove. There's the ball, and he just fouled it. Yeah, he, he missed the glove somehow. And protecting Chu, he went after it. So there's contact right there. Because Caleb Joseph comes out as I mean it's a curveball well over his head and didn't expect it to be fouled, but it was fouled. Now did he inadvertently touch the bat or the bat hit the glove? That's what the umpires have to. So the call by the umpire was interference. And the Orioles feel that this is simply a foul ball. And give Jeff Nelson credit for talking it over, not just going with the call of the young umpire behind the plate. And it doesn't appear from that angle that he did hit the bat. That's a big call. It would be two on and none out. And they are saying that it is interference and they're going to let Andrew stay at first base. Buck is saying that he heard the ball hit the bat, not no. the glove. Well, what he said was four guys didn't see it. And I'm not going to tell you what else he said. If you, you very rarely see him ever this enraged. Jeff Nelson calmly trying to make the case of why they're standing with this call. Well, he obviously fouled the ball off. Did he get interfered with? Because that changes the rule. Right. And Jeff Nelson trying to come in and. You know, one of the few times this year, Buck has actually had a, a chance to argue a call because of the challenge system. Well, they stood out there for what, about two, three minutes yeah. and had a conference, so I don't think he's going to change their minds, unfortunately. And I don't think you can challenge it. Again, I think it's in the spirit of the rule that everything was in front of the umpires and they don't want to go there. Even though I think if you if you actually could go back and look at it. Now let's listen and see if we hear two sounds. Well, there, there's the other thing I, I just noticed there. He didn't call interference until Andrews pointed at him. Well, but he does a nice job of doing it. Yeah, but if it's interference, if it was that clear, wouldn't he have called it immediately? He didn't call interference until Andrews said, I was interfered with. Well, he also didn't do foul ball either. No. You know, how they usually do that, so. Well, as Diaz is coming in to listen in. It's Jeff Nelson's crew. He and Laz Diaz are the veterans of the crew, and the other guys are the minor league guys filling in. We're getting a chance because of the umpires in New York. Boy, this is going on a long time. Jeff Nelson's really letting him have a beef. Well, meanwhile, Chris Tillman at least doing the uh, prudent thing, which is to take some warm up pitches. So that'll be a charged error on Caleb Joseph on the catcher's interference, allowing Andrews to reach. Now, Buck knows the rules. I mean, it, there's no way he's ever going to be one up on rules. And what has to bother most of all of that 
not the least of which it didn't appear the bat hit the glove was the fact that the umpire didn't call it till Andrew said I was interfered with and then he said okay interference we don't even know if they saw the foul ball I mean you really don't know that it was pretty obvious to us we get to see that but in real time action and 